Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Hunters. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six different sunburst designs in Adobe Illustrator using a method that's both accurate and unique. Something you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. It's quick, easy, and perfect for adding a burst of energy to your designs. So, if you're a beginner or a seasoned designer, this step-by-step -step guide will help you master the art of creating perfect sunburst effects. So, let's start the video. First take a rectangle tool. And draw a square. I take square as my background, you can take any size for your background. Now copy the square by hold alter. And make it total 6 because I will make total 6 sunburst. Now use this color to the background like that. Okay, that's good. So friends, I will show the perfect and accurate method for making sunburst. So I take this background for my one sunburst design, all design process are same. First take line segment tool. And draw a line. Give it stroke color. And increase the stroke weight to 4 pixel. And you can take more or less pixel. Again take line segment tool and draw a line little bit smaller than previous. And make the stroke weight half of previous line. Now select the two line, go uniform, and select the number 4. Ok, that's good. Again select the two line. Go object, and select expand appearance. Now use the color to the line like that. Ok, that's good. Now select the long line, and move it little bit distance. Now take rotate while the line is selecting. Select the bottom part and hold alter, click on it. Now change the angle, I want to add 20 line, so I divided 360 by 20 lines. Now click on copy. Now hold Ctrl and press D for more copies. Now select the all lines, and make it group by press Ctrl G. Now do the same thing for the smaller line.
Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Graphic Hunters for more design tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Have any questions or ideas for future tutorials? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.